So you want to make an offer on a home below the asking price, but you're concerned you might offend the seller. Should you go ahead and make that offer? I'm Robert Purnell, real estate advisor in Silicon Valley, and this is Real Estate in 60 Seconds. Now there's a common misconception that a low offer may offend the seller or the listing agent, when in fact, it's a negotiation strategy that can lead to great opportunities. In our market right now, there are more than 2,000 listings with over 30 days on the market and almost 700 listings over 90 days on the market. And in the past two months alone, we've seen over 1,200 listings either expired or withdrawn. And I guarantee you that most of these people still want to sell their homes and their main obstacle has been the listing price. So instead of fixating on that asking price, take a fresh perspective, consider listings that have been on the market for a while. These sellers may be ready to negotiate. Now I'm not advocating throwing around a bunch of unreasonable lowball offers, but by presenting a written offer, you're at least starting a conversation. And until that offer is on the table, no one, including the listing agent and sometimes the sellers themselves, no one knows what that seller will accept. So don't worry about offending them, write the offer and see where it goes. You might be surprised. And what's the worst possible outcome? They could say no. And that's Real Estate in 60 Seconds. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I have answers and I'll see you next week.